Ground up or ground down? Let's take a look at the differences and see if we can find out which one is right. So let's jump right in with code, for example. That's, I think, the most important thing to consider here. We always want to make sure that we're up to date with the NEC, or National Electric Code, at least here in the United States. And the fact is, the NEC says it doesn't matter. They don't specify ground up or ground down. They do have some orientation issues. So for example, you cannot put a outlet that faces up or a receptacle that faces up. And by the way, I'll use those terms interchangeably. Most people know them as outlets, but the proper term is receptacle. So if your receptacle is facing up, especially when it's under the sink, for example, that is prohibited by code. And there are other circumstances like that. But for most of our outlets, which are vertical and facing outward, the NEC doesn't specify that you have to do it one way or the other. Let's talk about manufacturers and what they're indicating based on how they manufacture the outlets. So on GFCI outlets, it's very common to see the test and reset buttons have the print facing in an orientation that indicates the ground would be down. This is pretty common, or is it? I don't know if you've seen this, but lately more and more I'm noticing that those buttons, the text on them is actually facing both directions or it's facing sideways. Now those are the buttons, but there's always other text on the GFCI outlets that we can take a look at. So on the stamped metal portions of the cradle, the top and the bottom there, for example, you can see that there's always some text on there, and that's gonna favor one orientation or the other. So in a lot of cases, like this one, for example, um, it says test monthly right in the middle in between the buttons, and that's oriented with the ground up. So GFCIs aren't really giving us a definitive answer, though I would say most of what I've seen is oriented with the ground down, specifically for GFCIs. Now looking more broadly at the manufacturers, I've got a couple of brands in front of me to check out first. So I've got these four by Eaton, and then I've got these three by Leviton. What's interesting is all four of these by Eaton, if you look at the text on all of these, all of it indicates that the ground should be facing up. So that's the case on every one that I've purchased, and I've got all different kinds here. Now, if you go over to Leviton, two of them, these two here, have the text for ground up, and then the third one has the text for ground down. I don't understand that. Why is it, why is it different depending on the circumstance? Now, to get some further indicators, I wanted to look at some of the suppliers. So Home Depot, Lowe's, and then I also checked out Granger. So let's take a look online here, and you'll notice something kind of interesting. Here I am on the Lowe's website, and I did a quick search for duplex receptacle. And you'll see here, the first thing we see is ground up, then ground down, ground down, ground up, ground up. They're all over the place. So these ones, the imagery on the website itself is all over the place. And what I've also noticed is that sometimes the image doesn't match what the manufacturer's printed specifications show. So for example, in some of these, it'll show the image of the ground down, but then if you zoom in onto the image, Let's see, I'm just gonna click on a random one here and see if that's the case here. Yeah, there's one right there. This is an Eaton. And if you look at the bottom of it here, the word Eaton is upside down, indicating that they've actually manufactured this with the text oriented for ground up. So they don't always agree, even the images to the actual uh, manufactured labeling. Then if we hop over to Home Depot, you'll notice something different here. Almost every image of these is ground down. In fact, so far they all are. There's one ground up, and that's with two USBs on it. But look at all this. Ground down, there's another ground up that's a GFCI, right next to a ground down GFCI, and mostly all ground down here. So I'm not sure if that's something that they did intentionally to maybe sway you one way or the other, or show what they consider to be standard. But then let's take a look over at Granger. And if you look, the major images at the top of each category here are all ground up. Then if you start going through here, you'll see that there's mostly two brands here. There's Bryant and Hubble. And if I look at one of these Bryant ones and zoom in here, you'll see that the text on here is made for ground up. And then if we go through a little bit further, even looking down, way down here, we'll go to a Hubble one, check it out here, and all ground up on all of these. And again, that might be a manufacturer thing that's more common with Bryant and Hubble but pretty much everything that you'll see on the Granger website is ground up. So there's not really a conclusion one way or the other when we look at different suppliers, different stores, and different websites. But the manufacturers, I would say, generally speaking, have way more ground up orientation than ground down. Hey, while we're here, if you wanna check out any of my cool DIY shirts, hoodies, mugs, anything like that, I have a lot of fun making these and kind of showing off that I'm a DIYer. I like doing stuff myself. So I've got links in the description if you wanna check out my store.
So now that we've looked at NEC requirements as well as what the manufacturers and different suppliers do, let's talk about the pros and cons of both and see if that helps us to clarify anything. So what I've read, I've kind of looked around to see what different people are saying about this and everybody's got their own opinions. But one thought is if you do ground up, the ground port itself or the ground pin is typically not carrying any voltage, right? So if something were metal were to fall on that, for example, then it's not likely to cause a short or any sort of an issue. It'll just hit that ground, move off, and that's that. No harm, no foul. I've actually got a real world example of this right behind me, behind my bench press, <laughs> my bench press, behind my drill press right there. Behind that drill press, I have a couple of items plugged in. One of them is the drill press itself, and that is a ground down receptacle. So what's happening is this one's hanging out a little bit. So the two prongs, both the neutral and the hot are exposed and up above it, I've got all these metal tools. So if something were to fall at kind of just the right angle, I'm not saying this is likely to happen, but it could cross both of those and cause a short. There are also cons to having ground up for certain situations. For example, here's an adapter brick that I've got for my studio lights and it's pretty heavy. So what happens is if this is plugged into a ground up outlet, gravity is working against it. It's trying to pull itself away from the wall. Whereas if I have this on a ground down situation, even if it gets yanked or something, it's not as likely to want to pull away because the gravity is working with us in this case. So in that scenario at least, and probably several others, ground up might not be the best choice. With ground down, there's some pros and cons there as well. One of the pros is that if you're grabbing your plug like this, there's a better chance that you're going to touch something underneath on the bottom of it. And if that ground is down, you're going to touch something that's not electrified. And that's a good thing. You're less likely to be shocked by that. If you've got it ground up and you're pulling at it like that and your finger touches one of those prongs or those blades, especially if it touches both of those blades, of course, then you're in trouble and you're going to get that shock. So that's a definite pro for going ground down. Another reason people state that ground down is better is because if you've got a flood happening and water comes up to your ground, that's going to cause less of an issue than if it hits these blades first and hits your hot and neutral. Now, I don't know how valid that is. I think the difference between, you know, that half inch difference between there and there is not usually going to be a lifesaver or a big change. And you've got big problems if you've got, you know, a foot of water coming up to your outlet anyway. But that's one thing that I've heard stated several times as well. Now, because I have a large audience of homeowners, so most of you watching are probably homeowners, I wanted to see what you thought. So just about an hour ago, I put a poll out on my YouTube channel to see what kinds of results I would get as far as ground up versus ground down. So as you can see here, we've got the poll in and it's only been about an hour. So we've got about 238 votes here and 75% say ground hole down, 12% say ground hole up, and then 13% say just show me the poll results. So if you translate that, I believe on the math that works out to about 86% for down and 14% for up. So definitely a vast majority say ground hole down on this. Some of the comments are pretty interesting here. My name's not important, says people who put the ground up are the same people that put the toilet paper roll under. <laughs> Now I'm a, uh, I'm okay. Yeah. I don't really like at all when the toilet paper's under, maybe that's, I've heard that's a guy or a girl thing. Let me know in the comments if you have a preference there. And then Chris Kish says, I cut the ground off everything anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. All right. Thanks, Chris. Let's not take Chris's advice on that one, please. What I'm seeing from manufacturers is that they pretty much always manufacture these in such a way that indicates that ground would be up. But if we ask people what their preference is and what they normally do, it's ground down. Obviously, there's not a real right or wrong answer in most cases, at least not according to the NEC. But keep in mind that your local code may dictate otherwise. There are certain places where it does require you to actually have your ground in one position or the other. So be sure to check that out. Now, on the topic of outlets, I've got a video you can check out right here. This is called Six Mistakes That DIYers Tend To Make When Wiring Outlets. You might want to check that out and see if you're doing any of those. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.